I'm the type of cook that likes to have a physical timer in my kitchen to help me keep track of things. And Adam's here with a whole new lineup. You are not alone. Lots of cooks like to have a dedicated mm -hmm. timer, even though you can time things on appliances and mm -hmm. smart speakers and with your phone. Nope. Try try turning your phone off with a wet <laughs> finger. Forget about it. Try These finding things, my phone. Good point. <laughs> These things you can use any way, shape, or form. We tested nine different timers. The price range was $7 to $59. Oh. Some of them were single event timers. Some of them were multiple event timers. They were all digital because we like them better than the dial kind. They're mm -hmm. easier to use. Let's start out with the great news. They were all accurate. Oh, that's good. We judged it and they were all spot on. In terms of using these things, you know, you really just want to grab it, set it almost without a mm -hmm. thought, hit start and move on to the next thing. So testers evaluated them according to their user friendliness and that's their physical design, how intuitive they were to set, how much the alerts grabbed their attention and the kinds of features they had. Now, in terms of the alerts, bigger is better. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be able to see the screen and you want to see the digits. This one had a particularly Ooh. big screen and big digits, super easy to see. I like the size of that one. Testers also really like these two because they're wedge shaped mm -hmm. and that tilted the display back a little bit. They found that really easy to see as they were running by or from a distance, just made it that much easier. So you want a large screen. You also want large-ish buttons mm -hmm. that are easy to use. Take a look at those. Oh goodness, <laughs> this is like resetting the Wi-Fi. Do I need a safety <laughs> pin? The buttons, one tester actually said the buttons are like the sizes of lentils <laughs> and they kept clearing things by accident they couldn't get it right so you want bigger buttons that are easier to use like on this yellow guy there oh that's foolproof yeah that one's super easy now another thing that you want is a full keypad mm -hmm. so that you can just dial in the time like on that yellow one yeah some of these you had to toggle in the hours and the minutes that just took longer it was more complicated didn't really like that mm -mm. in terms of the alerts mm -hmm. A lot of the multiple timers had different beep patterns mm -hmm. for the different events. Some of them also incorporated a visual alert like this one. Why don't you set that? All right. All right. That's the single timer. And you see that the, the alert is flashing. The whole screen is flashing along with the, the audible timer. Ooh, it's a double beep. Yep. And let me guess, the third one has a triple beep? Exactly. I you like that. You picked up that really fast. That made these easier to see, harder to miss the whole thing. In terms of features, some were essential, some were just nice to have. The essential ones included being able to count in seconds. There was one of these that would only do hours and minutes, not seconds, which is a no-go for like soft boiled eggs or something. You need yeah. to be able to count in seconds. Another feature that testers considered essential is the ability to count in elapsed time. So if you miss the alert for some reason and you come to it late, you know how much further it's gone and you might be able to correct course later in the recipe for that. That is important. That is. In terms of features that were nice to have but non-essential, the top one on that list was a memory. So you can just hit the button for things that you repeat often. You don't have to reset the whole thing every time. Wow. I would love that one. Me too. Uh, so there were two winners. The best multiple event timer is this one. This is the OXO Good Grips triple timer. $25, three timers, can't miss the alerts, easy to use, easy to set, easy it, to see. And it has the memory? It's got the memory, Ooh. it's got a full keypad so you don't have to toggle anything in. In terms of the single event timers, mm -hmm. this is the winner here. This is the Thermoworks extra big and loud timer. <laughs> <laughs> it's $33, but it's true to its advertising. It is extra big and it is loud. <laughs> and if you only have to track one event, that's a great choice. Awesome, thanks Adam. You're welcome. So there you have it. If you're in the market for a new timer, you have two choices. If you want a multiple event timer that has memory, check out the OXO Good Grips triple timer at $25. Or if you're in the market for just a single event timer, check out the Thermoworks Extra Big and Loud Timer at $33. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>